Hey guys, my name is Miska and welcome to Overwatch Central. There's a lot of talk about Overwatch going to different platforms, maybe changing up its business plan over time and kind of how the game makes its money, and just in general about how the game can expand more. In terms of the gaming industry expanding, there's a lot of focus on mobile right now. It is by far the biggest gaming platform, especially in China, and gaming giant Tencent that own a lot of different companies that produce games, publish, develop, you name it. They are a big part of the gaming industry, and recently some more material about their new mobile game Ace Force has been released. This is interesting because it's actually pretty similar to Overwatch in some ways, and I'll show you how in just a second. But this got a lot of people talking about Overwatch potentially going on the mobile. And before I get to talking about Ace Force more and Overwatch on different platforms, if you saw an ad before this video about Overwatch on the mobile, just click this link to download it or something like that. It is most definitely a fake version of the game, or it's probably not even a version of the game, it's just a company posing as Blizzard or posing as an Overwatch developer and publisher trying to get you to download a lot of the time an Android just downloads the package and then that you're meant to run on your phone. This is because they can't get this malicious often software to the Android app store. So instead they get you to download this file and run it on your phone and then your phone's infected with whatever virus or malicious software that might be. So do not download and do not spread information about this Overwatch mobile thing. There is no version of Overwatch on mobile currently. So if you get an ad about Overwatch on mobile, it's not real. Don't download it, don't share it, and spread that information around because we've been getting more and more comments on our videos saying that there have been ads about Overwatch mobile before our videos, and we can't really control that, unfortunately, and YouTube haven't been very quick to shut that down, so it's been going on for months and months. So please just keep that in mind. With that out of the way, Ace Force. Let's have a look at some closer screenshots, and you'll probably see why people feel like this game is very similar to Overwatch. This screen right here is the one that really got me. The level select and just the general aesthetic of this is extremely Overwatch-esque. Everything from the way that, you know, the whole image is just laid out, just the general graphics design and the UI, but of course the way the maps look too. You've got like Hanamura in there, you've got a map that kind of looks like Busan, then you've got Sanctum, Just that just looks like a straight copy of uh, Sanctum in Nepal in Overwatch and just some other maps that really feel like they have that Overwatch aesthetic to them. You've also got this picture here, which in game, as you can see as well, the graphics are actually pretty good for a mobile game, but again, it looks very Overwatch-like, which is why a lot of people have reacted to this. I think part of the Ace Force logo as well is this thing in the top left, so keep that in mind too, as it looks a bit like the Overwatch Archives logo, thinking about the color scheme and just general vibe of it. I'm not sure if that's a coincidence or not, but either way, the games do look pretty similar similar with all these promo screenshots and with the in-game stuff. However, gameplay-wise, I've seen other screenshots here and then I'll try to find some of them that I can show in this video, and the game definitely is different enough. Like, it isn't really an Overwatch clone straight up, it's definitely inspired by Overwatch in a lot of different ways. Everything from aesthetics, UI, to just the general approach for and just concept for the entire game for sure. But it plays differently, it looks very differently when you're actually playing it. But either way, Ace Force by Tencent is not really nearly as much of a clone as a previous Overwatch lookalike or even just straight up clone as an earlier game that I believe was called Hero Mission. That game just had like a straight up Soldier 76 ripoff and a bunch of other characters that just looked like they were taken straight out from other IPs here and there. You had a very diva lookalike thing, a Reinhardt type of skin, just a bunch of different characters looked so much like Overwatch characters. Yeah, they even had their own Winston, but with a panda instead. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty extreme, and I'm not actually sure if that game is even around anymore, but I feel like it's fair to say that Ace Force doesn't look as much like Overwatch, but it is asking the question what if Overwatch was on mobile and what if there was maybe like an Overwatch version of the game on mobile that more people could play with each other. Fortnite has had great success being on so many different platforms which brings me back 
to talking about Overwatch on Switch. That's the one platform that people have felt like is a pretty realistic way for Overwatch to go into, and there's been a lot of talk about Overwatch going to Switch. Nothing official, of course, but just from the community, kind of requests over and over saying that this would make a lot of sense, and there was an article earlier this year, I believe, might even have been last year actually, with Aaron Keller and another Overwatch developer, and basically they talk about a whole lot of different things, but they do talk about platforms too, and how StarCraft originally went they were going to make it for N64 as well. That version of StarCraft was extremely different, but for a game like Overwatch, it's a lot more possible to put that on different platforms. And in terms of running it on Switch, Aaron Keller, I believe, said that Overwatch for Nintendo Switch is feasible. It would be super interesting to see Overwatch expand to more platforms. And now, of course, this year with a lot of focus on BlizzCon and people expecting an Overwatch 2 or like a new Overwatch project announcement, I guess. I don't really want to call it Overwatch 2 because it's not necessarily just a sequel, but another Overwatch game. Obviously, a talking point becomes instantly for what platforms, how would it play, could it maybe be cross-platform, what things did Blizzard not do with Overwatch, the current game, that they could do with this next game. Let me know what you would like to see there, because I'm really interested in hearing what if Overwatch was kind of released again, or if Overwatch was released as a new game, what would it be, what would you want it to be, and what do you think Blizzard could do better? I don't think Overwatch in its current form could really go down that Fortnite route of just trying to be available everywhere and free to play and such. It just doesn't seem very possible. We've talked a lot about trying to find a new way to sort of monetize Overwatch and how something like loot boxes is maybe not really enough or the right way to do it anymore for Blizzard. It is an interesting topic that I think quite a lot about myself, but we're just gonna have to wait and see if Blizzard have anything in store as there's not a lot of info to actually go on right now. That's it for this video though, thank you very much for watching and leave a like if you enjoyed and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, bye bye.